Hey guys, Chevy 513 coming at you with a video here. I'd seen a lot of videos on YouTube about how to build a homemade cyclone dust separator. And you know, a lot of them they have the fine baffle in them and yada yada hooty hoo. I made this design. I thought I'd share this. This literally took me 20 minutes and a couple of pieces I had around my garage. It was a bucket, a lid to the bucket, a piece of hose with ends that will hook to the vacuum and over here to the extension and some hot glue. So, I'll kind of show you. Um, I wish I would have filmed when I was building it, but I took an extension, I believe it's two and a half, I'm not sure, and hole sawed a hole in the side of the bucket here and I have cut this extension in half. I stuck it in the bucket and I gave it an angled cut right there. And now I took the other half of the extension and I drilled the hole in the lid for the bucket and I put it through here. My adapter here didn't quite fit right for my hose so I just used some good old duct tape. And that's pretty much it. On the lid, the hose end from the lid goes into your vacuum and then your hose itself that you either use to vacuum things up or to hook to your uh, power tools hooks into the side of the bucket. So we will get this pony show on the road. You can see there's nothing in the bucket and you can see I have this cut slanted. So I want the slanted end away from this slanted end. So I have it marked. Take that. Pop it on. Alright, let's move on over here where we can see a little better. Maybe drop this down. Okay. So, now I'm going to take this top hose that hooks into the top of the bucket. I'm going to put that on the intake of my vacuum. And before I forget, you can see in here the vacuum's basically empty. So I usually keep it under there so I don't have a problem with it standing up. It wedges into place. Put that on there. Stand this up. You got to make sure this bucket stands up. If it falls over, it'll suck all the dust right into the into the vacuum. So I know we're kind of at a weird frame here. Let me see. Okay, what do we got here? Perfect. Down just a hair. More. All right. Now I've got this bucket full of sawdust here. We're gonna suck it up and see how much goes in the dust collector bucket and how much ends up in the vacuum. So I'm gonna hook my hose on. The extension piece is going into the side of the bucket. Now we're all hooked up and ready to go. So, let's see here. There we go. Right where you can see. I'd say that's a good amount that I ended up in the bucket. Let's take a better look here. Let's 
So, I'm pretty sure most of it ended up in the bucket. You know, this isn't one of them super trick systems, but for 20 minutes of your time and possibly what you have laying around your garage, you really can't beat it. You can see just a little tiny bit of dust made it in there. Shake it out. And that's a handful of dust. So, it doesn't take it all completely, but I'd say that's a good 99%. That's definitely going to save your shot back filter. So, if you're looking for something, I urge you, you know, don't bother taking so much time doing your uh, thin baffle, fine baffle, or whatever. Don't buy one of the dust deputies for 100 bucks. A bucket and a lid, five bucks, an extension, I don't know, probably, you know, five to eight dollars, and some extra hose. A lot of people are probably just going to have extra hose laying around, and then, you know, most people have a glue gun. If not, I use the glue gun because it's set up fast, but if not, you could use silicone or liquid nail or something like that. So, but yeah, that's uh, my quote unquote cyclone dust collection system there. So, works pretty good. Again, it was really cheap. So, I hope that gives you guys some ideas. It's definitely going to save your vacuum. And again, super easy to make. Took me 20 minutes. And I bet a lot of you are going to have most of these parts laying around your garage. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If uh, you're interested in more videos, you know I do a lot of tool videos and how to's um, and reviews. So if you're interested, uh, subscribe. We'd love to have you subscribe. So um, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching the video. And we will see you next time.